answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. I'm good. So we're going to move forward, and now we're going to get into some Nicki Minaj news, okay? Nicki Minaj is, is staying in the tabloids because of her husband, okay? So we need to keep this in mind. If you're going to marry someone, please marry someone that's not a thug, that's going to be getting you into shit. Please, please marry someone who retired. They, they boxing gloves and they thug mentality. Before I get into this article, I do want to talk about I do want to talk about something because, you know, I find it, <clears throat> I find it even in my age group, the eighties babies, we still look like we live in the eighties. No, we still look like we in the nineties. Okay. I really think that, um, our generation is stuck in a certain way of dressing and talking and living. And I can say that I'm from North. So you see the hood come out of me, things like that. But at the ripe age of 40 years old, I don't think that we should be still men walking around with saggy pants, women walking around half naked, showing their body all over the place. You know, you can show a little, so a little stomach, a little bit of boobies, you know, but a little modesty, you know, elegance. You know, we all grow and mature. And I think that's what's not happening with our age group and many other age groups in America and across the world. But I'm talking about us 80s babies because I think they're 80s babies. I think Nicki Minaj is 80s baby. Okay. <clears throat> we got to do a little better. So now that you got a thug for a husband, this is the shit you got to go through. You're literally a millionaire. You're sitting here having to pay for nonsense. It's a point where you get a lot of money where certain stuff shouldn't even affect you. Okay. Okay. You know, maybe I look at things a little bit different. Okay. I, when I get all that money, I'm not going to be sitting here arguing with people or sitting here trying to raise my hand to people and fight people because they say stuff and do stuff. So let's get into this. <clears throat> let's see what actually happened. Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, alleged assault may and assault, I guess, May cost her uh, $750,000. Let's see if it happened in May or the person name was May. Because this that's the title. Okay, this is brought to you by Hip Hop News. So Nikki Minaj just found herself and her husband in more hot legal water. Now, we just talked about the lawsuit that's still pending with Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer is still, um, that's the young lady who is claiming that they were, she was harassed and bullied and had to move because once uh, allegedly Nicki Minaj got married to her husband, people caught wind of it, then it turned into a big issue, and then they try to make it disappear, ways that wasn't supposed to be done, allegedly. So she has a pending lawsuit. We talked about that, and now she has something going on else. And I'm saying she is not even actually Nicki Minaj. It's her husband. When you're married to a thug, that's why I said I'd rather be single. I know, I understand you, Nikki. I understand. Maybe you got a little attraction to them. Maybe they just see you and be attracted to you. I, I got that. I walk down the street, I go to these young boys trying to talk to them. I'm like, baby, I'm about to be 40. Uh-uh. Okay, I know I'm, I look like I'm from Newark or whatever. I look young. This ain't happening. So I got to give you some advice, Nikki. You know, I got caught in the web of thug them shit. Thug them shit. And all he can hand, he give you pretty much is the thug and the dick. I'm sorry that I say that. Forgive me. But that's pretty much what he got to offer because career, none. What does he do? I don't know. Let me know. I mean, I you know, come on. What, look at the statue that you're at, Nikki. And you sitting here about to go through this shit. Okay? Mm. Okay. Moreover, the rapper faced a default judgment in $750,000 lawsuit over the alleged assault that took place during her Frank, uh, Frankfurt, Germany tour stopped back in 2019. Now, I, I don't know if this is the one, because I remember I saw one where he was in the islands with her and he was getting upset then. These are the people who was, was trying to touch her or something. 
Uh, well, not even trying to touch it. I don't know what it was, but I know he got upset. I, I forgot what it was. According to the Radar Online report from February, April 28th, security guard Thompson, who first sued the couple back in 2020, uh, motioned for the court to give uh, Minaj a default judgment. Furthermore, it seems like they failed to answer the lawsuit in time. While the super freaky girl, MC Face, said judgment, <laughs> still hasn't been able to obtain it against Kim Kenneth Petty. Perhaps the 40-year-old will not have to pay the lawsuit full amount as a result, but that's still unclear. So they're going to see if the judge, if the judge put a default judgment in, you better be in good um, graces with the judge. You better find a lawyer who could get that thing back open because judges ain't here to play. They're here to slay. You know, I think they need to get paid allegedly. I didn't say that. As history stories go, oh, I, as his story go, the security guard had a heated discussion prompted by the couple after a fan got past security barricade and on stage with Nicki Minaj. Even though security quickly resolved the issue in 15 seconds, the couple allegedly confronted Wildermere and his colleagues after the show. Reportedly, yeah, the Trinidadian born artist called a female security guard on Willowborn team a F and B and trash her live on social media. That's when the security guard escorted her co-worker away from the showdown. Okay. So mm -mm -mm. Nikki 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 that is not acceptable. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Just the way you gonna see me get on Cardi B with her crazy self and Tasha K, I'm going to get on you. You need to get it together. Even before you a whole mother, I know you my age. Why the, why are you acting like that? Like, even if you felt the way, isn't it a level of pause to, to like, just go home? Like, do you know that fucking bitch didn't do what they were supposed to do? I don't know. They're fired. Okay, go home. But for you to be out in public, to, to get to the point where you are calling F and B's, and let's see where it escalates because it seemed like hands were strong because somebody got to pay $750,000 allegedly if the judge don't reverse it. One second can change your whole life. You know that? I, t I tell people that all the time. So that's when the security guard escorted his co-worker away from the showdown. When he went to Minaj's dressing room to keep discussing the issue, Keith Petty allegedly punched him in the face. Look, the thug. The thug. Listen, I can call him a thug. I know thugs. The fucking thug. And y'all can, Nicki Minaj fans, y'all know it. Y'all know she could do way better. And I'll be seeing y'all in the comments saying, Nicki, please don't mess up your career. Please. He must got that monkey. Okay? It got to be the monkey. He a little monkey. Because the way she acting, baby, he's either that or voodoo. Because that don't make no damn sense, okay? You, you don't have to be like that. You don't have to be like that. There's a lot of men in the world. I understand, though. I understand, Nikki. Because when you're an alpha woman, sometimes you got to go to like a, how can I say, an A-type personality? What do they call that? A beta male? A beta male? Like, beta males ain't weak. They just low-key. They get it in. Beta males, you be done. You didn't even know the hit. But when beta males mixed with thugs, uh, no career, uh, maybe low self-esteem, uh, this is this is what you're going to get. Why I say low self-esteem, Nikki? Because he shouldn't be fighting anybody trying to look at you, touch you, come on stage. These people have been doing this before you came. You got security guards to take care of you, not him, okay? He can play his husband role. But when it comes to those particular things, especially in the public, like I'm not saying he wants to stand there and not do anything, but literally acting like a pit bull. He like little, y'all like two, he like a little pit bull next to another shorty. Cause you know you short, Nicki Minaj. Y'all both shorties. Anyway, so in addition to his claim, including the suggestion that Nicki Minaj told her husband to attack him. Okay, this is how you got in it. Why, if you did, allegedly, if you did, why? That's not becoming. I'm going to have to put some of the uh, 
you know, Hebrew women love on y'all women because y'all ain't got it together. Y'all started to got it together. Y'all literally living the fucking dream. Y'all could be living a dream and y'all making it hell just to maybe keep a headline, maybe to keep something spicy. Is this why you married this guy? Because I don't understand. I don't understand. You're a beautiful woman. Beautiful. Okay. Made a lot of money. You got diehard fans. And now you got a diehard thug as a husband. He ain't going to let you go. Especially if you're taking care of him. Okay. If you ever divorce him, you're going to have to pay him spousal support. Okay. He going to Britney Spears that ass. I'm just playing. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Oh, I'm going a little far. But you never know. I'm telling you. Because these days, our men ain't men's in it no more. And that's why I'm making sure I'm raising mine to be a man. Okay, y'all? And I can talk to the yo, young mothers. Y'all got babies. I got a 19 year old. Okay, about to be 20. And I got a, about to be, been there, done that. Mm -mm. We ain't about to be doing that. Ain't about to be doing that. You ain't about to be living off no woman. You're going to have your stuff. Y'all going to come 50 50, or you're going to come 70. She coming 30. Whatever y'all need to do, but you want to handle your business as a man. Okay. My, my son would feel away if he was. That's, let me tell you, that's why he act the way he do. I think he just fell away. He just, his manhood is crushed. So he's over here just, just acting like a damn fool, causing this beautiful woman all this money. Okay. So we're going to keep you up to date. Let's see what's going on at the end. Okay. However, the accuser dropped the charges against Nikki, even though she claims she tried, even though she claims that she tried to intimidate her. Moreover, um, James, uh, Judge James Arco took the case to mediation back in December. Is this the one you're talking about, Jennifer? No, hold on. Took it back to court in December 2022 and stated that there would be a trial, trial if no agreement was reached how this affected or will affect her music career so it's do her let me go back up because i skipped something in addition he claims that like i told you they said that Nicki minaj told her husband to attack him as such his lawsuit is on accusation of battery intentional inflection of emotional distress and ne negligence okay you're negligent girl you're responsible for stuff with all that damn money and power According to the court documentation from the Radar Online report, unfortunately, this is far from the first time the couple faces uh, court action. I knew they was talking about Jennifer. So it says the court ordered Petty to settle a lawsuit from his sexual uh, assault accuser after he and Minaj allegedly harassed her uh, to drop the charges. But it's like I said, this is still pending. It's in mediation. I knew that's what they were talking about. So she got two things going on. So let's see if there's an update on this assault by Mr. Kenneth Pitty to um, Nicki Minaj security guard. Girl, he gonna drive you into the broke house fucking with him. You baby, you lost your damn mind. You lost your mind if you built your career all the way up and you gonna let some damn thug come in and fuck it up. Nicki, get it together, girl. Get it the hell together. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.